Hello everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you have never been here before. Hi, my name is Alexis, nice to meet you. That was me shaking your hand. Some people might think that I'm just like shoving my hand in their face, but I'm trying to shake your hand. I've made a lot of videos on this channel about going to concerts, slash I've been to a lot of concerts. Let me show you the list of concerts I've been to. That's a one, two, three, a lot, a whole page, a whole this page, and then I skipped this page for some reason and went to this page. But I've been to quite a few concerts, and being at those concerts, I've acquired a lot of pet peeves from those concerts. So this video is my concert pet peeves. My first concert pet peeve is uh, girls that don't pull their hair up. Now, girls, listen. Look at my hair right now. This is what my hair looks like. This poofy mess. If I don't pull it up at a concert, this is going to be getting all over everyone behind me, everyone near me, everyone to the side of me. But it's not because I'm a nice human being and I pull my hair up when I go to a concert. The girl in front of me at that concert had hair like this, but it was like down to like, can't even see. It was like down to her butt. Like probably not. I'm probably exaggerating, but that like I said in my video, we were like this. So that was like all right here on me, mixed with my sweat, mixed with her hair sweat. And she kept doing things like this, like flipping her hair into me. That happens at so many concerts, but they could just be saved by a simple hair tie. We interrupt this video with the message from our sponsors. Just kidding, I'm not sponsored, but play along. Do you wish more people would like you? For only like 99 cents, you can be less of a dick at concerts. Don't know how it works? Watch this. You don't even have to pull it up. Together works too. Wow, I can't believe it was that easy. Call the number on your screen right now. But wait, there's more. Every hair tie comes with a wrist holder that you can use for an extra hair tie if your first one breaks. Another thing that really bothers me at concerts is people who think they are in a competition with all the other fans to be the best fan. So at the 21 Pilots concert, they sing a selection of their old songs, and the girl in front of me was like this the whole time, like, do you know the word? Like, not literally saying it, but like, she was like looking at me, like seeing if I was singing the words, and then like, if I wasn't singing the words, because I didn't know the lyrics, she would be like, I'm like singing along, but like, you don't know the words. It was just like, leave me alone, please. So yeah, like we're all in like the same like thing, like don't try to be better than certain people, just like love the band and be happy that you're there. Three, this is something that like isn't really concert like, but like me at least, I go on Twitter and like I search for things after the show or like before the show. And if you have been to more than one show and you have more than one show planned to go to and you have posted things on your Twitter like uh, being barricade at a show or being first row at a show or meeting the person, uh, the band members, be grateful. Like, I know some of you search through Twitter and you see those people that are like that and it's just annoying, right? Like, that's annoying. It's like... The next thing that bothers me at concerts is the debate between short and tall people. I am a tall person. If you want to be in the front and you are short, get there early. If you don't have the opportunity to get there early, then I'm sorry, but you're gonna be near the back and you're not gonna be able to see. Being a tall person, it's hard because you feel bad if there's someone that's like tiny behind you, but also, like me, I've waited there just as long or longer than you, so I've earned my spot and let me stand there. Does that mean, like, I'm sorry short people, I'm sorry. But I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna have all the short people go in front of me because I'm taller. Because then I get pushed back and me getting there early doesn't mean anything. This is sort of the same thing. People that are like, oh, I'm meeting my friend up there. Like, who's your friend? The band? Are you meeting the band up there? Because your friend's not there. Your friend's not waving at you. Ugh. The last thing that bothers me about people at concerts is uh, people who yell inappropriate things at performers or people that bring posters that say inappropriate things. It's weird. Like, you take away from the music when you do that. I'm not going to say anything because I said something, but I'm going to take it out because I felt so uncomfortable saying it. Um, I hate that. I just said that out loud and I hated it. But you know if you've been to concerts, especially One Direction concerts, you've seen the signs, they're inappropriate, they're gross. It's like, you take away from the person when you just look at them sexually. And now this is getting way too deep, 
But if you're there for a concert and you like their music and you like them, like, don't ruin it for everyone else by saying weird things. My whole day is ruined from saying that. Ugh. That's it for this week's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I now hit over 150 subscribers, so the next goal is 200 subscribers. I know I can get there. I'm trying to get there, let's just say by the end of the year so it's obtainable. Um, if you have noticed these things at a concert, please comment down below and tell me. No one watches this part of the video anyway, so like, stop talking like this. Like, no one's here anymore. Like, the analytics are showing that everyone's clicking off the screen now. <sighs> Peace.